Hi, I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. I specialize in games that can be played in 20 minutes or less, and this is my April game chat, and it is going to be my first board game giveaway because Haba sent me a bunch of games to test out, and we have played all of them already, but I'm only going to talk about a few in this video, and then I'll have how to play videos coming up in the coming weeks, months, because there's a number of these. Uh, I'm going to talk about a few of our favorites so far. Uh, Hedgehog Haberdash is my four-year-old daughter's favorite right now, and it's just a really simple game. It kind of feels like the sneaky, snacky squirrel to me, but a little gentler and easier. Uh, and you're trying to get your hedgehog to have its back completely filled of leaves that match the color of the hedgehog. And uh, it's great because there there is one take that element in which you're rolling this die and you get to pull leaves out of a bag and they're two sided. One side has like pink and then the other side will have blue. And if you've got the pink hedgehog, you can place it pink side up in your hedgehog. Well, there's a wind side on the die where you can take a leaf from another player. If I'm blue, then I can take that one from the other player and put it in my hedgehog because I'm trying to fill it up. So there's a little bit of memory involved too, but I like uh, that it's uh, optional if you want to do that move. You are allowed to, if it is strategic to you, you can instead just, oh, I'd rather take one from the bag and see if I get lucky and have my color match, or if it's strategic in terms of sending a child to bed without them crying because you stole from them, then you can also choose to take it from the bag as well. But it's really simple, it's really cute, spot on for her age. Uh, the other game that we are currently super into is King of the Dice. If you see the Hobbit games, most of them are yellow. And to me, that is the indicator that, oh, this is a child's game, unless it is uh, pink and then it is a unicorn game <laughs> put out by Hava. They have a few of these unicorn glitter lock games, which we also love, and they all come in pink boxes. Um, but if it's not the bright yellow box, then to me, that is an indicator that it is a game for uh, adults or older kids. And so there are a number of those. If uh, Karuba is a full-fledged adult game, it's longer than 20 minutes, but it's really fun. We've played it with friends at adult game nights. You're trying to get your explorers first to the temple, building paths through the jungle. Uh, it's really fun. So Haba, they don't just do games for kids. They also do games for adults. And uh, King of the Dice, is a really fun game in which you're trying to roll dice and collect cards. And uh, my, my we finally played it last night and my son was so excited to finally get to test this out with me. My 11 year old, he'd already read up on all the rules. So he just told me what to do. Uh, it was pretty simple, which I love. And, uh, but there is a high luck component. You're trying to get the highest score. And our final score was, uh, he had 82 points and I had three. Uh, and I was trying. It was just, if you don't get the dice rolls, you get negative points instead of positive points uh, on your turn. So uh, he loves the game. And uh, I love that he loves the game and will play it with me again. I am super happy when the child wins, uh, especially by a margin the first time, because then they'll play with it with me more and maybe I'll do better in the future. So there's a high luck quotient here, uh, but really fun ga gameplay. I liked how everything worked together. We do a lot of, uh, I love dice games and um, this is a really clever take and it's quick. So even if you lose horribly, you just set it up again and play another round that helps. Quick games are so helpful for things like that. Well, the game that I'm doing the giveaway for is uh, Inspector Mouse, The Great Escape, because they sent me an extra copy of this one. And uh, so I thought, oh, this would be a fun one to get to try to do my first giveaway for. So it's just going to be within the continental US. I'm just going to be doing the shipping costs for it and, and handling all of that. And uh, let me tell you about the game. It's uh, I'm checking this out for my whodunit board game list. And 
Basically, what does it say in the back? The criminals are planning a jailbreak. Inspector Mouse is on their trail, but he needs your detective skills to work out, work out who was the last crook in the cell with the escape tunnel. Um, so it's it's a little bit of a memory game. It's a little bit of a who done it. Uh, there's a little bit of construction required for this. Actually, for a few of them, you're punching out stuff and and building things, which everyone really enjoyed and was actually a fun part of setting up the game. But just know this this had a little bit going into it. Uh, and you have this uh, you're building like these rooms. And then there's this big circular piece that rotates on the top and you can peek in different places and see who's where it's it's a really clever setup um so in order to win this game uh just comment below uh what your favorite childhood game was and i'll pick one um with a random number generator and then message you and we'll send it your way um, my favorite childhood game was Hearts. The classic card game is just what my family played all the time. And uh, I still, I, I really love the classic card games. We're finally um, teaching my, my older kids how to play cribbage. And it's just really good how to, how it makes you shuffle cards well, which matters for all games. And uh, gives you, it just, I can count cards really well because of hearts it, it has helped me for many games so a lot of these classic games are very simple but they ha give you skills that transfer to all sorts of games down the line and i just have a love for all the classic card games and hearts i still love hearts we'll still play it all the time so that's it for our hobby segment and i do really love that they are known for children's games that they have some games for adults but it that they fit the niche of the, especially the My First Games, where it's ages two plus. Uh, I did not know when I first, when my kids were little, that I could have been playing games with them at two. And it is so wonderful to do. They go about it in such a nice way where they just, in, in most of the rules, they say, oh, let them play with the pieces for, first. Just talk about the different pieces and what they are and help them enjoy all aspects of the game is so healthy, sets them up to love board games, and that's what you want. In non-Haba news, there are some other games we have been playing this last month. Here are the few that I want to get to talk about. Uh, Seven Dragons is this fantastic family level card game in which you win by getting seven dragons in a row and you want it to match your goal dragon um, and then you win. But what makes this really great, especially for us, is they have different levels of play for however old um, the people are you're playing with. So there are preschool rules in here, uh, there are elementary rules, and then it goes all the way up to adult rules. So you can play this. I played this with my four-year-old daughter and she loves it. Uh, and then my husband and I have played it for game nights together. Uh, we've played it with my parents and everybody's really enjoyed this and it gets really interesting and fun. You're doing things like you have cards where you can trade gold, car gold cards around. You can trade hands. You can remove a card that's been played down out there. So there's a bit you can do um, to make it into a more full-fledged game, um, but you can play it with a preschooler too. And it's dragon themed, uh, so we love a good theme. I'm working on a dragon themed top 10 list, and this is definitely going on there. Uh, Explorers is a new game by Phil Walker Harding, and Phil Walker Harding should be like the patron saint of my channel because he specializes in uh, short, accessible uh, board games that are, are really fun, but you can play them in 20 minutes. So he did Sushi Go, uh, Super Mega Lucky Box, Silver and Gold, just a lot of my favorite games are from him. And this is perhaps a step up from that. There's, there's a bit going on, but it still only takes 20 minutes, which is really exciting to me to have like a really engaging strategy game, but it's quick so you can fit it in. Uh, and this, uh, kind of feels like Karuba Plus to me, where you're an explorer, everybody has identical maps, and you are marking off X's and trying to get little treasures and go to keys to open the treasures, and you get gems, and you're trying to get provisions, and you're marking off spots and trying to get the most points. So there's a lot of different paths to success in this game, uh, but 
it's really thinky and fun and it's just really good. So thank you. Thank you, Phil Walker Harding. This has been a go-to in the evenings for me and my husband lately. And then finally, uh, Micro Macro Crime City is basically Where's Waldo plus crime and it is fantastic. Uh, this was like the best part of my spring break was playing this with my son who was 10 uh, at the time. And I tell you, it's it's so intuitive. We read zero instructions before we started playing. We just got out the giant map, grabbed the cards and said, oh, okay, we're supposed to find this to start the first case. And we just had a blast. Uh, content wise, there are some mature elements. So if you are playing this with a child, you should check out what you're comfortable with first. There were a few surprises for me the first time we played because I didn't read any of the rules. They warn you in the rules of oh, this icon on this case means it will have this kind of more mature content. And I just skipped over that and then we went, oh, oh, oops, that happened. So, but because it's all cartoon, uh, it seems okay. And to me, it felt kind of like Murder, She Wrote level, like with Angela Lansbury. Uh, it kind of that level of, of crime, maybe plus a little bit. Uh, so it was okay in our house. My um, I played with our 10-year-old son, and my husband's been playing through with our 9-year-old daughter. Uh, it is just one time that you can play through, but you can still pass it on to somebody else afterwards, and they can play through the, um, the cases. And they do have a couple more versions of this. And we ordered the next box uh, when we were about four cases in because we were just having an absolute blast and uh, definitely got our money's worth. It was, there are 16 cases in each of these boxes. So loads of quality time. It was absolutely fantastic. So we're obsessed. So that's it for my April game chat. I'm excited to see how this giveaway goes and to get to hear about everyone's favorite childhood games, uh, especially since there are so many more options now. My four-year-old has a new favorite game every week and I'm just so excited to get to play them alongside her is one of my favorite things to get to do with all of my kids play these great games. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time from Game Like a Mother. Mm -hmm.